Hey guys, it's a Wendy, AKA Kitty Street, and I've got an Aldi haul for you guys. First of all, let me say Happy New Year to everybody. I hope everybody had the best Christmas ever. I comment, let me know if you did or if you didn't. And with that said, guys, it is cold here in Georgia. So I'm just going to quickly do my Aldi haul and put this stuff back up. I do have a couple of seasonal things that I got prior because I'm doing this pre-recorded and I knew I wasn't going to put this video out till probably the first week of January or so. So here we go. So item number one, I picked up this um, healthy to tell natural dog shoes. Now they are rawhide. I know they're rawhide. We don't normally give them rawhide. The dogs, I have um, two dogs. Uh, we have an English Massive, big, big dog. Uh, her name is Shirley. And then we have a Pitbull Mix. His name is Homer. And um, he's very spastic and he likes toys and he likes little, you know, he's smaller. So these little small ones are fine. Now we only give rawhide every once in a while because they get treats every day of the year, it seems like. But guys, I was pricing these at Walmart, Target, online at Amazon. Something like this was like $30, $25, $30. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And I just wanted something with a cute stocking. So this one's going to go to Homer. Um, it's a Santa toy. It was a five of... Um, now, this one was $6.29. I don't know why. I think because it has a little bit more stuff in it. This Santa Claus um, stocking for the for Homer was $6.29. And then I got this one, which is just what Shirley likes. This one here is the same thing. Hard to tell. Natural dog shoes. 13 to 15 inch candy cane. As you can see, it's a massive. The camera is not doing it any kind of justice. Um, she just likes to eat. She don't like to play much. Um, she likes to eat and sleep, and every once in a while, she'll let us pet her. So, yeah, this is for Shirley. This one here was um, $5.49. It was a little bit cheaper, and the one for Homer was $6.29. And, of course, these will be given out on Christmas to them for their treats. Then I did get a couple of other little seasonal things. I thought this was just the cutest little thing right here. This is the Benton's cookie mug toppers. Look at this little sugar cookie dude. So I have not, I'm dying to try these. That's why I wanted to hurry up and get this video out. But look at the little guy sitting here on the cup, the mug. Now I have got a lot of hot chocolate to go through and we have the weather to do it. I'm going to probably drink as much hot chocolate with the sweet and sugary kind as much as I can. Um, probably all the month of December, January, and February, and then we'll just figure it out from there on. But these right here were so cute. They're crunchy butter cookie it's designed to fit the rim of your mug. Um, this right here is, was, um, I have my receipt. So let me um, pull my receipt because I said I'm going to have my receipt. Here's my handy dandy receipt. Um, these were $2.49, which I thought was pretty awesome, you know, considering. Um, so I'm definitely going to be messing with these. Um, do they have an expiration date? Yeah, it's right here. Um, it says good until 9-1 of 2023. So I picked up those sugar cookies, mug things. I thought they were cute. Then I also got this red pepper jelly. Now I was tickled to death about the red pepper jelly and I picked up two of them. Um, it's by that specially selected brand, which I've had before. Um, I love red pepper jelly. It's sweet and spicy. Um, I usually could only find it at Kroger and I had, I wasn't going to go to Kroger, but I wound up going to Kroger and didn't even look for it because I bought these at Aldi. Um, these are in the cutest little jars and I went ahead and bought two of them because um, I'm sure we're going to have some kind of appetizers on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. And then on New Year's, we do a little thing and I'll do a little short on it as simple as pie. Um, which I am going to put out my Oreo pie one too. I just ran out of time at Christmas. So I picked up two of these and these were um, also $2.49, $2.49 a piece, which is not bad because the one at Aldi's, um, I mean, excuse me, the one at um, Kroger's, they are um, about $3 and something now. And, they all, and I always want to tell you that Aldi has the twice as nice. So if you bought something and you don't like it, not only do you get to return it, you can get your money back and you can get another product if you like. So that's pretty cool. So I got two of these red pepper um, fruit jams and I thought, wow, those are pretty doggone cool. So then I got some Stevia. As I was getting kind of low, they changed the box, which I kind of like this new box. It's gonna look like more going into summer and spring to me, but that's fine. This is the sweet um, additions. Stevia 80 packs, still the best deal that I can find. These here were, 
Stevia, Stevia. These were, um, oh, these were still $3.99. I, I don't know what's going on with the price of these, but it's still pretty good to me because you get 80 packs. And I like it because it has the Stevia brand. So I picked up that. And this one goes until, um, here's the date. The, it goes until February 3rd of 2024, if you can even see that at all. So I picked up that. Then I did pick up some more coffee because I, I just always love this coffee and I'm afraid it's going to go out on, like on clearance sometime and never come back. That's the Southern Pecan Praline. It's 12 cups. It fits a Keurig or a fake Keurig if you don't have a Keurig. 100% um, coffee. Um, I love this stuff. It's a real, real good. This was $3.49. So I picked up another one of those. Then I picked up some tea. I will always try to keep a couple of these on hand. Um, especially when it starts getting, you know, cooler. I like to have warm tea with milk um, every once in a while if my throat's giving me issues. Um, this is the only brand that I've bought for the last probably 10 years. And this is the tea company Benner, B-E-N-N-E-R, and it's 100 tea bags. No big deal. This here was uh, $2.49 as well. A lot of $2.49s at the thing. Okay, I did pick up some of these. I need to go back into the freezer refrigerators, not the freezer. Um, these Friendly Farms um, sour cream, this is $1.89, and the French onion dip, and I bought two of these, and they were $1.69. I already got into the other one, and a bag of chips as well. We had those already, so sorry. Um, we got this. Um, I always pick up the sour cream. I only got one sour cream because the last time the other one got coddly, so I just picked up one dip, I mean two dips and one sour cream. Then I was pleasantly surprised that they had the countryside creamer with the olive oil and sea salt. These were $2.99 a piece. Yes, I did buy two of them. Um, that's just like buying the butter quarters, but this is the spreadable ones, and I like it better than the margarines um, that I bought for $4.99, I think, a couple of hauls back in my Aldi haul because butter and eggs have just skyrocketed lately. Um, so for $2.99, I went ahead and picked these up. These will last me for a long time because I only use them for certain things because I use the whole butters for most of the baking and stuff. These go till June 4th of 2023. So I picked up two of these and I love it with the olive oil and sea salt instead of the canola oil. And I, I didn't mind paying the $2.99 and I'll keep those. So I was very happy about that. And then I got some just what I call plastic cheese for the kids. Um, these are just that Happy Farm <laughs> Single American. These were $1.89, 16 slices. Um, they like them on their sandwiches and, and hamburgers and things like that. So I picked up that. Then I did get some Roma tomatoes. I always pick up some Roma tomatoes, and they were, I think it's five of them I picked up this time. Because um, I always, always get them there because it's probably about the cheapest place I can get my hands on them at this point. Um, they were $1.76 because they were $1.69 a pound. I thought, whoa, getting pretty pricey there. Then I did pick up these right here. This is a repeat buy, these 20 hash brown patties. Um, they're by, they're shredded potatoes, filled to frozen. They're season's choice. And guys, this is a massive thing. And yes, it, it was in the freezer. So I took, I had kept it in there until I did the video. Um, I'm gonna break these out into fours. So it'd be like all the way, I did put them in little baggies and do four sections and then put them, you know, so in case, I have my family over, I can pull out one baggie um, because if you leave them like this, they get kind of crunchy and hard and I don't like that way they do. So I break these into, I'm gonna break them down today and I'll put them in, um, eat four of these in a baggie and stack them up. So this right here, the hash browns, oh my goodness. These used to be $1.99. And I know you guys get tired of me saying this, but I just wanna give you an example. I used, to, and I never buy these a lot because I, I love them. I'm a, I'm a potato girl. I could eat, I probably could eat. <laughs> I'd wipe these out if I, if I let myself go. But I'm very, I keep them kind of away from me and I try to forget about them. I hide them in the back of the refrigerator. Then when my kids say, do you have anything for breakfast? I'm hungry, whatever. I can, you know, snatch them out. But these used to be $1.99 and guys, they're $4.69 now. And yes, I went ahead and did it because if I went to McDonald's or somewhere through the drive-thru and picked up some kind of hash rounds, um, they're like a dollar and something a piece. So 20 of them, that's like 20 bucks. So I said, oh, I had to pick and choose. So I did go ahead and pick them up because again, if I don't get them now, they'll be $700 um, next week. So I picked up these for $4.69 and I don't feel too bad about it. And yes, you know, I always talk about my Castlewood Reserve smoked honey 
turkey breast. I hardly can find this anywhere. I used to buy this at Sam's all the time for $7.99 a, a container. Then they only started having the ham and the regular, the ham chicken and the regular turkey, the smoked turkey, not the honey smoked turkey. And I thought, oh my gosh, so when I see these, I don't pick up just one. I pick up two of these bad boys. And again, these right here were five, um, let me get, make sure I say this, I think it was $5.49, but let me double check. Um, honey turkey, $5.49, yeah. So I got two of them. They're good till February 4th of 2023. I'll put one of these in the freezer and I'll keep one out. And they're not too bad coming for the freezer if you let them thaw out, um, you know, real good. And I let them thaw out inside the freezer for like a couple days when I take them out. And again, guys, this 16 ounce package for $5.49, like I said, they were $7.99 at Sam's, is not a bad deal. So I got two of those. Then I always, let me move this up a little, I always at Christmas time do cinnamon rolls. And I went ahead and got two of these um, Bakehouse cinnamon rolls. Um, these are the 12.4 ounces. Well, this year we had our Christmas, family Christmas get together um, at a restaurant and we didn't do it at home and my kids have both moved out. So, you know, yeah, they're not here no more. So I don't have the luxury of making cinnamon rolls, but I do keep them on hand. Um, and I'm going, you know, I always keep them because my kids are one day going to come over and say, you know, we didn't have cinnamon rolls on Christmas Eve or Christmas day or whatever. Can you make me some? And they will do that. They've done that to me before because I'll not buy something and thinking, you know, they won't forget. No, they never forget. This has been a tried and true tradition. I don't know what happened one day when they were like six or seven years old. I just had some cinnamon rolls and I would put them in a little, um, I'd bake them and I'd make them in little designs. Like I'd put them together and make like little Christmas trees or, or some kind of little situation. And they would eat them every Christmas morning. That was, so it became a tradition and a decade later, I'm still doing it. So decade plus. So these right here have gone up as well. The, they were um, $1.49, which is not too bad. I think I used to get them for like 89 cents. So I picked up two of these. Um, they're the 12.4 ounces of Bakehouse Creations. And they're good until um, March 15th of 2023. Okay, so you can see that. Sorry about that glare. Then I also got... A big bag of potatoes. My son's always asking me for potatoes. Plus, I've had a hankering um, for some um, baked potatoes. I've, I kind of want to bake potatoes. So, I said, I'll go ahead and pick up a bag. And then, I'll probably send most of them home with him after I, I do a couple of meals. I might even make some homemade mashed potatoes um, soon with, a, with some pot roast. I have no idea. But the reason why I picked them up, guys, if you know, if you buy potatoes. Now, this is the Nature's Delight russet potatoes this is a 10 pound bag let me see if i can pick this up without rattling the thing 10 pound bag and this was 279 let me make sure though for sure um my receipt says nothing is in order i should have did this about order on the receipt and i'd be home 299 so these are 299 most of the potatoes i've been seeing like this have been anywhere from four to five bucks so I thought $2.99 was not a bad deal. Okay, and then I'm getting down to the last bit, and I always wanna tell you about this last little thing. That's why I kept the box. I'm gonna tell you about the boxes there. But last few things, and I'm gonna wrap this video up. And thank you guys for watching and hanging out. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and ring that notification bell. Subscribe, hit subscribe, like, share, and comment. Comment and tell me how your new year is coming along and i'm so glad christmas is over but in the a lot of me is kind of sad that it's gone i mean i had a great time it was exhausting it was memorable it was happy but it was a lot of work so i'm going to try to um, put a note in my calendar to try to tone it down next year and do a little bit less but regardless um, it was it was awesome, and now the new year was, is like a new beginning always to me, and I can't wait to see what YouTube brings for us. So, on that note, this actually here, um, because I'm pre-recording this, um, is going to be a, well, I'm just going to tell you, I'm, I, this is the empty box. The actual heater is at my son's house. I actually gave him this for Christmas. So, I'm, I said I was pre-recording, and I realized I didn't. I, this is the empty box. So, anyway, I picked this up. He had, I was at Aldi the, when he called me, and he had said something about, it's so cold. I want some of these little, and I have like three of these that I bought at Aldi about three or four years ago. 
And when I bought mine, I've got two of them for $14.99. And then I went back and got another one after Christmas clearance and it was like $11. Well, this little space heater, you plug it into the wall, into the outlet. And I know people, you know, like turn your heat up. Well, it, sometimes I don't like all that heat in all the rooms because I get hot flashes and he's probably, he doesn't like it as well. Um, he's like me. Sometimes we still sleep with the ceiling fan on and with the heater um, in the bed. It's, it's strange. But he asked for one of these and I happened to be in Aldi and I said, well, I already bought everything I'm giving you for Christmas, which wasn't a whole lot. And um, I decided, I saw these and I said, okay, well, it must have been an omen. He called me right when I was in the store and I purchased this right here for him and it was 19, I mean, excuse me, eight, uh, $18.99. I know it wasn't $19.99 because I said, God, it's almost $20 now. But it was $18.99, and I didn't buy him a whole lot of Christmas, so I didn't feel too bad for it because I know he will use it, and, um, you know, I, I know it's a good deal. I have several of them, and I swear by them. Uh, I put them in my little office, so when I'm freezing, freezing, I turn these little things on. I also keep one near my bathroom, um, and I go ahead and turn it on before I get in the shower. It's just an awesome deal. I hate that they're a little bit pricier now, but this one here is Easy Home. Um, wall outlet ceramic space heater, 350 watts. And I, you know, $18.99, I went ahead and bought it for him and gave that to him at Christmas. Okay, and as you can see, I just have a couple waters <clears throat> and then I have this box. I was just gonna talk about the box. The waters are 99 cents. They're the, the Pure Aqua um, one gallons. They're um, 99 cents still at the Dollar Tree. They're $1.25, so I always pick these up. I have about six or seven always on hand because I've just gotten where I use that for most everything now. And then I picked up another 24-pack um, of the Purified Waters. They were um, $3.25 this time, so they were a little bit less than what they normally are. So $3.25 for the Waters, um, it was $24, and I went ahead and got that because we were pretty much out. So then I wanted to talk real quickly about the box, and then I'm going to put up. So I um, had cleaned out my car um, and when I was doing some stuff, I don't know why I cleaned it. Oh, it was when I went to, um, Florida and I took everything out. <laughs> I have not yet to put it back in here. I'm going to do it this, this week. So I had no Aldi bags. I had no nothing. So I just wanted to tell you guys, if you go into Aldi and you don't have your bags, if you don't want to pay a dime or a quarter or whatever, you don't have the reusable bags, they have boxes. And I literally put everything in this box. And I just wanted to tell you that I thought that was pretty awesome because if I wouldn't have, I would have had to thrown it all in the floorboard or, or in my little compartment, which some of it would have fit, not most of it. I just stacked it all up in here and now it's, it gets heavy, but it will hold in your car, in your trunk without everything rolling around. So that's that's just a little tip, another little tip for Aldi. And I just want to say, guys, I appreciate you again. Um, like, comment, share, and ring that notification bell. And I hope you guys have the uh, rest of a wonderful day because I sure am going to do that as I put up my Aldi groceries and my handy dandy little receipt. And with that said, guys, I take care. Have a great one. And bye. Love ya.